Martin Luther King Jr. History of the American Civil Rights Movement Leader Personal Facts Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. Religion He was born to a Baptist preacher and was the second of three children. At that time, slavery had been illegal for over 70 years, but not everyone was happy about it. In fact, some people especially in the southern states made special rules to keep white people and black people apart. The period in which he grew up was called segregation. Education King was such a good student that he skipped two grades and graduated at the early age of 15 years old. He later graduated in sociology and finally decided to become a Baptist minister like his father. In 1953, they married Coretta Scott, with whom he had four children. He later got his Ph.D. In December, 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give her bus seat to a white man as requested by the driver, for which she was arrested and spent the night in jail. That was the spark that started the revolution. Martin Luther King Jr. and other civil rights leaders organized a boycott of the bus service. The boycott was a total success. It lasted over a year and cost the bus company a lot of money. In 1956, the Supreme Court ruled segregated buses were unconstitutional, which proved peaceful methods could create change. However, not everyone was happy about the change, and Martin Luther King Jr. was frequently threatened, even stabbed, his home bombed and jailed over 20 times. Nevertheless, he would never stop calling for equality. Between 1957 and 1968, he tirelessly promoted civil rights all over the country, gave thousands of speeches, and wrote five books and many articles. In 1963, he gave one of his most memorable speeches, I Have a Dream, in front of a crowd of 250,000 people at the Lincoln Memorial. He then became a highly respected figure and was even named Man of the Year by Time magazine. He was also awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Eventually, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act by which segregation and discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex or national origin was declared illegal. On April 3, 1968, he gave his final speech. The next day, while standing at his hotel balcony, he was shot and killed at the age of 39 years old. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan created a national holiday to remember his life and accomplishments. It is celebrated on the third Monday of every January. This work was created by Gemma Balarian under the Creative Commons License Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International.